going on everybody? It's me, Truck Driver Sean. So, as we all know, I try stuff, sometimes things don't work, but still kind of like the company and what they're doing, even if they're, you know, a little off the cuff, right? So, acoustic attack. We all remember the herpes pick, right? This one? Because it's got the little nubs on it. So I, I was making fun of it, saying it had herpes. They would just get rid of just some of those. That's a pretty good pick. It's hard to drop it. Um, it's called the surge. On the tip of the pick where you're striking, it's a 1.5 millimeter, and it's 2 millimeter at its base, at its core, where your hand is. So you, you it's really comfortable to hold. If you're the type that's used to using like medium, medium heavy picks, you'll transition to that super smoothly. Uh, unfortunately, I have such piss poor picking technique that I can't use it. I have a whole bag of them that I can't use because the herpes catch my strings. <laughs> They're not herpes, folks. It's just something simple and funny to call it. So, uh, no, no, uh, no ill will to the to the acoustic attack people. These are attack picks, by the way. So the green one was a surge. So I met my boy Park Kangries of PCB Pedals, and he has the Juggernauts, these ones. They're pretty awesome. They have what they call a recessed, so when it's in your hand, it feels so good. And I'm going along with it, having a really good time. And it's really a good pick. It really, really is. But uh, I don't know if you can see the little... Yeah, there you go. That little nubby thing that sticks out, it was catching. Again, horrible picking technique. It's not the product. It's my shit guitar playing. So, yeah. Didn't really drive with this, but I loved how it felt. And that one is one millimeter on the little tip and three millimeter recessed in your hand so I was looking at the site and I was like man I really love that juggernaut but having that tip the way it is just doesn't work for me well that is when I saw this this right here folks is easily without a question the very best pick I have ever played in my 25 years of playing guitar which yes I already know what you're thinking you're playing sucks for someone who's been playing for 25 years and you would not be wrong it's a whole thing called adulthood. You don't really learn anything unless you're, I don't know, sticking to it. I never did. I learned how to play four chords and just ran out the door. So, yeah, taught myself how to play. It happens. So I have horrible technique. But this pick right here is the best pick, and it is called the Stealth XL. All right? That one there on the tip, you're at a one millimeter, and it's sort of sharp, sort of like a Jazz 3. It's got a good feel to it. It's got a good recess. It's got little uh, nubs in it there. Let's see, yeah, let's see if you can see them. Yeah, see the little nubs? They're awesome, man. This pick is awesome. Only complaint I have, they're hella expensive. And I chowder up picks hard, man. I, I play basically big old cables for guitar strings. And it's ridiculous. I understand I probably could use a lighter gauge, but... I like the gauges I use and this, you know, tough titty, right? But they're amazing. Uh, doesn't matter pretty much whatever ones you want to buy. You get six of them for like 11 bucks. Uh, the real value is getting like 24 of them because you can get 24 of them for like the price of 12 of them, pretty much. I mean, the more you buy, the more you save. Um, they are very expensive. My, my normal pick, of course, I don't have one sitting here is for what I paid for 24 of these, I get 100 of my other ones. Are they as good as these? No. But 24, 100? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're expensive. If they were cheaper, I'd use nothing but these. But they're very expensive. And I have, I have a bag of them that I'm going to keep and I'll use them. Um, there's a really cool video. I was gonna kind of do it myself, and I was like, you know what, if I do that, it's kind of taken away from what this guy did. If you look up the Acoustic Attack Attack Pick Stealth, go on the YouTube, look it up. There's a guy that actually shows you the sound difference 
in an audible recording using the stealth pickup and using a Jazz 3. You can't deny it. It, it is, it's completely different. It, and it's just a pick, right? I mean, we can all agree it's just a pick, but it's more than that. This is an amazing product. Now, I didn't like the herpy pick, <laughs> the surge, because, again, horrible technique will get you horrible results every time. It's not the company's fault that I'm a shit guitar player. That's kind of on me. And the juggernaut, um, I kept getting fetched up on that little ridge. But this Stealth XL, this one right here, that is freaking amazing. You know, for $11, you get six of them. Try them. Who knows? It could be the change you're looking for in your guitar playing. Um, I wish they could find a way to make them cheaper. If they could make them cheaper and make it super affordable, I literally would not use anything else. They're that good. But, you know, I'm a cheap motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning in. Keep music able. Bring metal to the children. Don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. And no, I will not sign up for Patreon. There's a thank you button. Leave a couple bucks. All right? Later.